this used to be a goat. Now it is about to become a meal. This is how you debone a goat. People are probably making comments. Let's see, let's see what we got here. This is like the hind leg. Uh, sh shoulder. Oh, this is the shoulder. The hind has already been cut. Back strap right here. Remember, have a very sharp ah. knife. So Filipinos only. Filipinos only. Check with your local DLNR if you want free meat. You'll have to go ahead and take the hunter's education course. Go buy yourself a nice bow. Or a gun. Find out where your uh, local hunting grounds are. Find, a, find yourself a nice, a nice billy goat. And uh, shoot it in the neck. Thank you. And you have uh, fresh goat meat uh, for like a month. Okay, there. Okay, see you. Okay, Dave. All right. right there. Look at that. Imagine that on the barbecue grill. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting an electric knife. <laughs> Just to go through that bone a little bit easier <laughs> instead of uh, doing it the old-fashioned old old fashioned manual way. Yeah, great. So it's good to keep your knife nice and sharp. Oh, oh my God. Stay out of the way of the knife handler. Usually we do this with pigs, but... This is uh, it's goat season now, so Darren was nice enough to catch a goat. So we can have some nice tasty goat meat. And look, it's lean. There's no fat on it. Mm -hmm. Very little fat. Nice and lean. Can't get any healthier than this. You just gotta do a little hard labor. Beats tofu burgers, that's for sure. The other nice thing is, uh, you got dogs. Woo! They love you. Just throw them a bone. 
Feeds the chicken bones, Darren feeds his dogs. Ah, no chicken bones. <laughs> Only pig bones. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if they'll... They might like this better than the pig bone. We'll have to do a, a taste test with, with your dog. See if they like... They prefer the uh, goat bone to the pig bone. smoker to smoke yeah. some of that stuff. Wow. My tin ribs are tough. And, uh, make some soups or some stews. <laughs> we'll have to try some uh, goat jerky. Jerk? Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing I gotta say is you, everybody should have a stainless steel table like this. <laughs> you know, peop, I, I see a lot of people working on wood tables. That is very unsanitary. <coughs> you gotta have a stainless steel table like this. You can get this at any of your local uh, appliance repair guys' places. <laughs> you know, they usually have these lying around. Just, uh, just pick it up. I don't know if they're going to be lying around. Huh? I don't know if they're going to be lying around. Yeah. Or if uh, you can find a surgeon surplus store. Or maybe go to your local hospital, see if they're getting rid of any of their uh, autopsy tables or, you know. I can't get rid of that freaking rib. I'm trying to... Right there. I got it. Yeah. Still working on the ribs. Uh, I don't recommend doing this at home, folks. Normally, we would just use a little hacksaw or a little axe or Chinese cleaver. But uh, if, you, if you are Filipino, you can use any knife. Like this one. Yeah. Let's see now that that's the proper knife there. That's a Filipino knife. Yeah. That is a Fili that's a Filipino sword. That the uh, actually Chinese. Oh, that's a Chinese knife. I thought the Chinese only have a cleaver. <coughs> Came from my grandfather. That's your grandfather's knife? Mm. Wow, that thing is in good shape.